Hi guys and welcome to Sampurna, the holistic well-being from with you, me and us together. And we are in continuation with the previous session on checklist for unhappiness. And we will be continuing from where we left. I think we had discussed four odd points on last Monday about the checklist for unhappiness. We also realized very important was this. Nobody can make us happy. I can't make you happy. You cannot make me happy because happiness is existential. It's always there. It was, it is, and it will be. Something we end up doing in our actions, in our thought process, in our behaviors, because of which we become miserable. And it's layers and layers of misery is something that makes us unhappy. We can just remove this unhappiness, remove this misery or layers of misery. We again reach back to the state of happiness. So welcoming you all for this continuation of the topic on checklist for your unhappiness. And I think so many of you are joining in. So let me say hi to all of you right from Devyani to Mukesh to Priya to Simran to Akhil to Nisha to Sheila to Manisha. Thank you so much for joining in. I think few of them are still slowly, slowly logging in. So in this, in the meantime, I will just uh, recap those few points I spoke last session so that we can maintain the continuity. So I, I thought like the way how we buy one equipment or a machinery and along with it comes a manual, a manual which explains in case the machine does not work properly or the equipment doesn't work properly. Just go through this checklist. And something is not okay, just make the correction and the machinery will work again the way it was given to you in a working functional state. Like that, I thought why not to have a manual on this beautiful thing called happiness, which gets now and then lost because few things we end up doing or thinking or behaving. So if we can just follow this set of checklists, this few points which I am giving, which I last time also gave and giving today also. Am I doing this? Yes, because of this, I am unhappy. It may not be applied for you. One second point may be applied, third point may be applied. So we're discussing about multiple points. The first point in my checklist, which I actually felt very amused when I thought about, when I realized this. Anyway, thank you guys. Thank you, Rekha. Thank you, Ayush, Samira, Jepetil, Meet, and Nikhil to joining in. And thank you, Sharath, for posting that super sticker. Thank you so much, Sharath. Hi, Malti. The first most strange yet very uh, valid point on my checklist, first point number one is people are unhappy because they don't want to be happy. And this is something very amazing, very amusing to me. Hi, Sharad. Hi, Rajni. Hi, Vinayak. There are people who just don't want to be happy. They just keep finding reason for unhappiness. In fact, when everything goes on happening brilliant level, they doubt it. And they feel now everything is going okay, something wrong is going to happen. And for that now they become miserable about it. I've been having no problems for quite some time, which means a big problem is going to come in life. And that is all. So there are a lot of people who are unhappy because they don't want to be happy. This is the first point in the checklist that we discussed last session. Second point we discussed was, we are just decision away from happiness. Like I gave the example of what is it that you did on your birthday or on your new year or on your Diwali day, which you can't do today. Everything can be done today also, what we did on that day. It's just that that time we decided today is my birthday and I'm going to be happy the entire day, no matter what happens, whoever says whatever they say. And you choose to be happy. Likewise, I think today we are not doing few things or we are not happy because we are not made the decision to be happy. We are just a decision away from happiness. The second point on my checklist. Third point. I think is very important. Thank you, Manisha, for the super sticker. And third point, which I think was again very profound, which is the major, major, most popular reason for people to be unhappy in life is we just cannot accept anything in life. Whether they are the situations or the circumstances or the uh, people around you and we just cannot accept the way things are happening. For example, uh, you're watching a cricket match and India is not doing well. India is not doing well. Is India is not doing well and we can't accept it. We are in traffic, in traffic jam and we don't want to accept it. Hi oh, Gunit, I love you so much after a long time. Hi Rajni, hi Seema, hi Asha, Vasvi Chati. 
so we just don't want to accept anything you expect the water to be hot in the morning when you're taking bath and some reasons actually your wife missed out to switch on the geyser and it was cold water falling on you and you became so miserable about the entire thing you became unhappy not able to accept that instead of hot water cold water is coming people just can't accepting and this is one reason for which most people or all the psychiatric cases all the psychological cases across the world if you go to the root cause and the root causes these are the people who are not able to accept themselves the way they are and the way they look the way they feel about themselves they only always feel they are not good enough in life and this was enough reason for them to become a psychological lunatic or a psychiatric patient single most reason non acceptance of who you are what you have what you do not have and it was the third point on the checklist thank you jyoti prakash for the super sticker number fourth was and this is always the most amazing thing some sent- statements some sentences can just be such a big eye opener in life and this one statement actually opened my eyes if you want to know you're an adult person how do you know you're an adult person you know you're an adult person when you start asking questions which have answers we all somehow at some point of time ask questions which do not have answer jin sawal jin sawalon ka jawab hi nahi hai hum unko puchte kyu hain that's what we keep doing in life main paida kyu hua tha why was i born in my life what is the purpose of my life mera zindagi ka maqsad kya hai how do you know who will come and tell you this kon batayega and we are stuck with this we are asking questions for which there are no answers why that person died what is the answer you will feel good and what answer will satisfy you there is no answer for this so and the fourth point that don't ask questions which you do not have do not have answer so next time when you are unhappy ask yourself am i asking a question which do not have an answer yes then drop the question because not every question has an answer because questions come from here they have answer when questions come from here there are no answer for their questions that question so adding to the whole thing now the fifth point on my checklist is again something simple i, I i'm going to uh share with you very simple simple realizations i am not going to talk about those uh philosophies of some uh, books which makes no sense in our practical life i might at times sound philosophical but i think it's more practical so i'm going to only take practical happiness i'm not talking about your anand parmanand staying in a state of anand chittam hey all this thing uh, doesn't make sense to us because we don't use these words in our day to day language so i'm going to use a layman's language and take all the layman's issues and answer those practical situations which i'm going to speak about which most of us have got confused so fifth point on my checklist is we have wrong definition of happiness and this is crazy because when the def- very definition of that is against it you will never have a right clarity you will never have clarity i know there is no definition i will give a definition of happiness to you hi prakash hi sunita sunita bhayendra kar bahut time ho gaya tumko dekh ke next time do come to some program sunday definitely it's for you if definition is not the right definition what you get to see is wrong i'll give examples to you for example astrology in the beginning of this world when the world was developing the astrology was uh, based on this big assumption that earth is in the center and all the planets move across ar- around the earth that was the basis of astrology now decades later maybe century later first time it was understood it was discovered that it is the sun in the middle and all other planet revolve around the sun so the astro- astrology that was been done discussed studied earlier was context was base was earth is in the center and now the new understanding and the new discovery is actually it is sun in the center so the definition itself itself is so all the predictions of astrology cannot be taken right because everything will look wrong and go wrong because the definition itself is wrong a 
economy definition is allocation and distribution of scarcity of resources. So economy beliefs have convinced itself that there is scarcity of resources. So there are few things in scarcity and a lot of things in a few things in abundance. So what is economy all about? Allocation of and distribution of scarcity of resources. When in the mind only everything is scarcity for you, you will never be able to see abundance because there is a definition of economy. So that when the definition itself goes against the subject, you will never have clarity. So let's say happiness. How a general man, a common man would have defined happiness. For him, a simple definition of happiness. Happiness means no problems in life. So that is a definition we all have built. Nobody has told us this, but I think it's a very unspoken uh, reality of our life that we all feel that happiness basically means no problems in life. So when you have problem, you should not be happy in life is what basically people have concluded and something is going wrong. Like for example, the I'll give you, this is the most craziest thing that can happen. The little child from the school comes maybe in uh, nursery, KG, lower KG, upper KG or first standard. He comes with the result mark sheet. Thank you Vivek for the super sticker. And thank you, Vinayak, for Super Seeker too. The, 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 the child comes home with a mark sheet. And in mark sheet, there are a lot of red marks here, which means the child has failed in few subjects. And after giving the mark sheet, the child goes and starts playing and we start watching his TV. The parents tell, idiot, after scoring or after failing in two subjects out of six, how dare you have no shame that you're going watching on television. Now, till the time, child did not understand this. Look, listen to this part very carefully. Till that time, till that first mark sheet where he flunked in some subjects, till that child does not understand or did not, never knew that there is a link between my happiness and this performance of mine. He did not know, which is actually not the reality. Children are the most spiritually evolved people without their consciousness. He gave the mark sheet and he went watching television or playing there. And dad, mom, got an idiot, you don't have shame after failing in this. And the way he was being shouted at for his performance or his mark sheet, the child started thinking, okay, if I have got bad marks, if I have flunked or I failed, I have lost the right to be happy in life. Isn't it stupidly crazy? And this is what has been hammered into all our life from our all childhood for all the children across the globe. You have made a mistake. You are supposed to be sorry for it and they will make you feel sorry for it and they will make you miserable for the entire thing by making you feel how stupid or idiot, how bad you have been by doing this mistake. And you are you're, you're not allowed to be happy. And you, does, you do some mistake and if you are smiling, hell break loose. You know when some goof up you do and you keep smiling, people think you are just gone nut, you are gone lunatic. And... You, we have been from a so as a child, we never had a problem with our performance or non performance. We always knew naturally I can continue to be happy even if I have done some stupid things. The child could do susu wherever he is sitting, he can urinate wherever he is sitting, he can do potty wherever he is sitting, and after that, he can continue to be happily playing. For him, doesn't matter that performance, non performance, and his happiness has no connection here altogether. But it is the family members who link it after shitting on the bed like this, after urinating on the bed like this, how you can simply play and smile and this. you don't have brains, you don't have this and this. The child says, okay, if I do some blunder like this, I, I lose the right to be happy in life. Isn't it actually stupid? Just because you have made a mistake, you have lost the right to be happy in life. And who tells that? And who has said it? But we do it. And from that time till now, we're still doing it. For example, I have seen, I don't do that. I have seen people, they give a speech, give a talk. And if they uh, falter somewhere, you, they mispronounce something or they goof up their speech, they're miserable for next two days. They're not able to enjoy, they're not able to smile, they're not able to laugh, they're not able to eat food properly. Not, how can I make a mistake? And they are now on a rampage of being miserable. And I ask myself, why are you behaving so stupid? Why are you behaving so... Why are you torturing yourself in the process of everybody else around? Because you goofed it up, idiot. If you goofed it up, okay, learn from it, move on. Why have you stopped being happy about it? I'm not saying you to dance after the non-performance or do something. Yeah, you feel bad momentary, understand? 
come back to normalcy no and that's the maturity yeah we lost it we lost it yeah we made a mistake we made a mistake but now definition definition of happiness means what happiness means no problems no mistakes perfection who in the world has been perfect ever in life no one including the one who created this he himself has built a world which is moving from imperfection towards perfection so where you and me and as human being want perfection and the process of the whole thing we have made a wrong definition happiness means no problems in life you tell me now this one thing let's have a very logical understanding about it show me a person who does not have a problem at any phase of his life who are the person the richest man in the world the most powerful man in the world you tell me i don't believe in america now anymore i never but people should speak about i think still the most powerful man in the world right now if he is powerful country also is, is going to become india and is right now it is narendra modi the way he can influence and empower things he doesn't have problems in life he has problems in life the richest man in the world has problems in life so which means if richest people and the most powerful people in the world can have problem which means you and me are definitely having problems in life so which means on this hand if i keep the problems in life are constant there is no time of your life there is no phase of your life when you did not have problems in life they were they are and they will be so happen uh, then the problems in life becomes constant now we discuss in one the session last time is that when you want to be happy you said morning evening afternoon today tomorrow inside outside here there everywhere i want to be happy so you want to be happy is also a constant problems in life are always in a constant and your definition is happiness means no problems haha <laughs> and the reality is the truth is we always will have some issues some challenges some difficulties some problems in our life from health to wealth to society to relationship to people to marriage to parenting some health issue some issues will be there which means there will be problems in my life constant i want to be happiness constant which means if both of them are going to be constant and if your definition of happiness is happiness means no problems then your definition is wrong because there will always be problem so their definition has to be i think renewed or rectified and the new definition of happiness which i always believed in is this happiness basically means going living to be happy striving to be happy along with the happiness along with the problems along with that mother in law how to be happy you ask me i can give solutions to you you are thinking the day my mother in law will not be there now what do i do i don't know what do you mean by he, she won't be there but when you say as long as she is there in my life i can't be happy then i think you have handed over the keys of your happiness in the hands of that person and you are waiting for that person to disappear from there in some form or other and then you will become happy is it how is it possible with this man i can't be happy with this woman i can't be happy for oh, you don't have a choice on this my dear friend so happiness does not basically means no problem happiness actually means living striving to be happy along with the problem along with that mother in law along with that man along with that woman how to find my happiness or how to stay to my happiness how to stay aligned to my happiness is what is the real and the new or latest definition of happiness there i think i can help you or anybody else can help you but if you are bent upon saying no, happiness means no problems then i will have to take away the mother in law from your life your man from your life or that woman from your life which is practically impossible isn't it So next time when you get miserable, ask yourself: Is the definition about your happiness gone wrong? So my next point in the checklist is: Your definition is not right. I don't think you'll be able to ever feel happy in life because you have convinced yourself for ages together people who are happy they must not be having problem. Ha <laughs> ha. Every head has its own headache, isn't it? every head has its own headache and every heart has its own heartache there is no head without a headache once in a while or <laughs> regularly there is no heart without a heartache reasons can be different degree can be different but every head has its own headache and every heart has its own heartache so get the definition of your happiness renewed rectified and i think you learn to be 
happy along with your difficulties along with the problems yes i have a health issue along with the health issue how to be happy i think we can learn about it yes i think i have some issues in my business along with the issues how to be happy i think we can do about something we can do something about it i there are problems in my relationship along with those problem in the relationship or the relationship itself we can find a way to be happy in life and that is possible so get your definition of your happiness right it can make a great impact in your life and the same context i mentioned about how in our immaturity we have connected and interlinked and linked performance and happiness i think this is the most uh torturous thing that we have done to ourselves we have been really very harsh on ourselves because we have somehow linked happiness with performance just because you have performed great brilliant excellent does not give you right to be more happier it has nothing to why have you connected your happiness or state of your happiness or state of your bliss with your performance or non performance both are different both are different happiness is not in action happiness is born uh, the action can be born out of happiness but action, happiness is not action no so it is a state of being is what we discussed in the previous session we do out of my being doing happens being is happiness i do out of happiness i work out of happiness i sing out of happiness i dance out of happiness i teach out of happiness in the process if my performance falters here and there it has nothing to do with this because this is the root no from which i operate just because one branch one fruit is not sweet or bitter or falls down it doesn't shake up the roots right so sometimes when your performance does not happen properly how does it disturbs your peace of happiness a state of happiness happiness is what thank you session for a super sticker session so that is where the whole thing comes from my being doing comes so my doing is my performance the word that should be used in vocabulary for the action that you do is satisfaction or dissatisfaction you can say i'm dissatisfied with my work i'm dissatisfied with my performance i'm dissatisfied with my results i'm dissatisfied with my relation you can say all these things so the performance the action is measured in satisfaction or dissatisfaction being should always stay in the state of happiness state in the state of bliss and out of that being of happy happy human being it's not happy human becoming actions you do to become somebody in life work you do to become somebody in life doing happens to become somebody in life but you are already in the state of being happiness is the state of being you live out of it you don't do something to get here out of this you do what you do so in the doing there can be satisfaction dissatisfaction once you have this clarity you can say i am really disappointed with my work so i'm little not feeling great here but i am very happy with the way i am working i am very happy with the i am um, very happy with my married life but yes i am not satisfied i think i can become a better spouse in my life i am very happy with my parenting but i am not satisfied with the my parenting style i can still improve upon the whole thing i am very happy with my business but i am not satisfied the way i am doing it i can still improve upon the entire thing i am very happy with my work but i am not satisfied with my work and then there is a scope to improve your action the scope to improve your doing the scope to improve your skills and i think that's what basically practically is actually happening to all of us but what we have done is we have entangled doing with the being we have connected unnecessarily the doing and the being together and that is where even after and this clarity of intelligence is very important because if you don't have this clarity we'll keep is like you you you're mistaken performance results as your happiness like how like how how does it how do you link it there's absolutely i think very immature of any one of them who links performance with happiness or non performance with happiness action that is doing and being are two different states so i think 
when you understand the difference between there's a state of happiness and there's something called satisfaction or dissatisfaction dissatisfaction helps you to improve yourself as a person it improves your mental mental abilities your mental capabilities it improves your skill set it upgrades you your dissatisfaction is a reason for your growth but being is here satisfaction dissatisfaction is here don't allow it to go here when we make when you mix it up no that's where everything goes wrong everything goes wrong it's very important to make sure you don't mistake non performance or performance for happiness or unhappiness so the next point in my checklist of unhappiness is non performance or performance has nothing to do with the state of happiness happiness is and out of that happiness that being the state of being you are doing is born and you keep doing it from there like happiness is the roots out of which grows the tree the fruits turn bitter or turn fall down does not have the power to disturb the roots root can again regenerate recreate fruits sweet bitter whatever it may be but one branch falling down not living up to its potential one fruit not growing to its potential and falls falls down before arrive before it ripes has nothing to do with the roots it can't impact the roots once you understand that you are the roots and your your being is the root your doing is the action and your actions can be improvised improved just because of non performance or bad performance or wrong performance you don't have to disturb the entire roots of your being that is your happiness so get this aspect corrected i think it can do a lot of good to yourself you can be disappointed but you don't have to be unhappy in life because being disappointed being annoyed is something very very different than being unhappy in life so make that checklist they make their point in a checklist don't mistake non performance or performance along with your state of happiness your time flies like that i have few more points to discuss with all of you one let's take so now i spoke a little more uh, uh deeper subject with you right now what i spoke just now let's take something much more uh light hearted light weighted uh, point in my checklist which i think again is a very very amusing which i feel if this one thing can be taken instantly you can start seeing that lot of this layers of unhappiness which has been happened over a period of years can immediately that 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 it will go and you can actually start feeling those moments of uh, moments of happiness very frequently in life if you can get this point in the checklist of unhappiness right don't mind my language but i think it makes sense don't poke your nose in small petty issues if you are poking your nose in small petty issues around you you will be unhappy and you'll also become source of unhappiness to everybody around you we just can't believe this is so unbelievable this is one again very uh unaware but very commonly practiced point of my checklist which almost everybody has done initially in my life i have done it a lot now i no more do it means i do absolutely i can say with love of pride that i don't get involved in this point of my checklist means i think majority of the people in the world including so many of you white who are watching and listening to me must be doing it don't poke your nose in small petty things in life in your life around in a, in lives of other people the last night we just decided to take the bike and go for and to meet somebody me and vishali vishali my wife and uh, she was driving the bike i was sitting behind and we stopped on the petrol bunk to fill petrol there were two lines were there and uh, man no, we are a little more smart we think so moment i said if she takes this line she can get the petrol filling faster that line one extra person is there i did this calculation i was about to go and tell her how does it matter if one another two more minutes will delay anyway it is going for normal work only there is nothing called agenda here for this why should i go and tell a woman who is now almost 47 year old who also is a graduate engineer she also has her own intelligence i have to go and poke my nose there and tell don't fill petrol from this queue go in that queue 
small thing no and for that she will suppose make a comment back to me you stand no i'll take you where you want to take where where you want to go no why are you bothering because she doesn't want to be let down in front of so many people in the outside in the total bunk and she's also right from her perspective so i chhod do leave it ignore it and okay thank thank you thank you so much for those super stickers vinay and rashid tabia thank you so much how somebody is sitting in the house we poke nose everywhere i have seen in the especially in the houses and i can't believe some houses poke nose in everybody's life thank you nikhil for the super sticker too i've seen some families poke nose for simple simple and especially this mother mothers and fathers and parents have some kind of god knows which which planet they have come from and mummy is now don't sit like that don't eat like that don't make noise when you're eating it's like you are a correcting manual for everybody and who wants to be always getting corrected in life nobody want to be corrected how are you? is it the way to sit in the house is this the way to so many girls are told don't is this is the way to laugh do you think there is a manual for laughing how to laugh um, how to smile uh, you are a girl don't open your mouth and laugh how do you laugh with the mouth closed can you tell me when you are about to laugh no pressure is built it has to move from here if you don't open the mouth other portion other portion will open up now here you'll open up some other sound will come that it goes that gets open up some other sound will come and along with the sound smell also will come what do you want to have and this is such crazy thing in life small small things don't poke your nose in small petty things in life petty petty things i don't like the way you keep the bed sheets proper don't you don't keep the bed sheets properly women have problem with the man that they don't keep the wet towel after taking bath properly they only come and throw it on the bed is it a issue? do you think it's worth your attention a moment i speak about people get very offended don't you think there should be discipline in the house it is a house it is not military regiment that there has to be discipline it's a house people come to house to relax to be casual to be off guarded just to be themselves in your own house if you cannot be yourself what is the point in living in that house if you can't sit the way you want to sit if you can't stay tell me honestly tell me let's be very practical the best sleep in the house does not come on the bed it comes on the sofa watching television and eating the food on the tea pot eating there only eating eating sitting sitting watching watching sleeping sleeping is a super experience but she can't handle it is this the place to sleep why we have bought the bed for lakhs of rupee for that bedroom isn't that the place oh amma it's okay ma how does it matter if some man or some boy or some girl sleeps on the sofa so what it is sand leather it's okay just sleeping no sleep is important or a sofa is important petty things no but we'll poke our nose there also don't make life petty by putting your nose in all petty issues and this how do you keep the shoes there you don't keep the clothes properly a mind's house house i know there is a very beautiful thing i believe in this a hygienic house a clean house is a healthy house a dirty house is a happy house what do you want you want a happy house then some one shirt there one towel there it's okay your house is not a museum that people are going to come visit every morning and evening by paying 100 rupee entry ticket i hey, thank you sir as per future for 200 rupee super ticket super sticker you, you think your house is a museum iso 9002 approved that the world will come and check whether everything is kept properly or not sip and snap it's a house no let it remain a house so what it little here and there you and this one a very simple suggestion and advice to all of you here is if you are a man of ideals have it for yourself don't push it in the throat of everybody in your house you want to be disciplined you be disciplined you want to be hygiene you be hygiene you want to be fit you be fit you want to go for exercise you go for exercise you want to do all great things in life please go ahead and do it nobody stopping don't impose your ideals on everybody in the family because at one point of time everybody will have their own ideals they may not be believing in your ideals just because you're head of the family or just because you're a senior most in the family don't push it through everybody 
and then it will be unwanted cold war in the house or in the office i think a house is a place where you should be yourself you should be allowed to be yourself if that also you if see everybody is trying to make everybody else perfect and i don't know who has given the authority to the person to give make everybody else perfect somebody trying to make you perfect you trying to make somebody else perfect like few of you can say deepak don't you think you are doing the same thing right now hmm? you are expecting all of us i am not asking you to be perfect i am telling you it's okay to be imperfect my dear friend you be imperfect and enjoy your imperfection and also allow people to be with their when they choose to be or when they decide they want to be perfect they will work towards it why are you pushing and at the price of happiness is the my is my question here at the price of at the cost of happiness you want to correct everybody and what will you do and all of you have tried no no father in the world is able to change his son no mother in the world is able to change a daughter and it's a psychological problem we all have like i always say that everybody's woman listens to me except my woman or everybody's wife listens to me except my wife because my wife sees her husband in me every Whether women see her in me, it is easy to correct as a teacher, not as a husband. Everybody's child listen to me except my child because my child see a father in me. Everybody else's child see a trainer or a teacher into me. So, why will you, in the name of discipline, in the name of ideals, in the name of, please don't poke your nose in small petty things of life. How they have packed the bags, you want to get involved in that also. how they are keeping the bike you're getting involved in that also how are they using the mobile you're getting in that also small petty thing. don't poke your nose how that woman in the house is cooking the food you're getting the food to eat on the time no eat no why you want to go in the kitchen and check why are you putting like this why you're not keeping things like this please don't poke those people who are poking nose in small petty things those petty things ka problem nahi hai problem is the small petty thing disturb your state of happiness and you become unhappy in the process you also rub your hand up in a few more people now everybody is unhappy for what for a petty issue is it worth it is my question here if you learn to ignore few petty things small things i don't like the way you use the bathroom you don't use that bathroom you use other bathroom you are living in a 3 bhk 4 bhk bungalow independent house must be having some common bathroom go that bathroom no for that you have to make halla gulla in the house i i can this one only on this topic i can speak for the entire one whole session of sampurna on how we keep poking our nose in small small petty petty things in our life if you want to establish immediate instant happiness in you around you with everybody around you i think please stop poking nose in small petty things of your life and others life it's not easy. it's not difficult it's not difficult yeah if i'm asking you practice detachment attachment this is one checklist for unhappiness but i think it's very difficult to do that we are not that spiritually evolved people yet that we can just detach from everything because the moment you become attached you're bound to be unhappy the moment you practice detachment you'll always remain happy in life because you know nothing i am attached to sab maya hai phir bhi to yahan pe aaya hai and you can just stay attached detach from everything but i know i'm not talking that point because i know it's something which is very takes is i'm not saying it's not practical i'm saying it's difficult so i'm not discussing that point but there's something as simple as don't poke your nose in small petty things in life this is the one point you can add in your checklist now very important here is this so i have a very simple prescription for happiness in this matter is learn to ignore overlook all these small petty things and how do i define small petty things because it depends on people to people what is small for somebody maybe big for somebody i'll keep it like all inconsequential matters of life which does not have any consequence on your life or their life now or later are inconsequential they are called petty things in life leave it 
इग्नोर इट ओवर लेट और ओवर लुक इट जान के अनजान बनो देख के अनदेखा करो सुन के अनसुना करो दीज थिंग्स यू एनी वे डू इन लाइफ राइट यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी फ्यू थिंग्स विच यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू सी यू ऑलवेज avoid listening to few things and you by choice don't listen to what you don't hear what you don't want to hear then you just become very ignorant about lot of things or just ignore lot of things like that you have doing you know so jaan ke anjaan bano learn to ignore few things dekh ke andekha karo learn to overlook few things sun ke an suna karo itna difficult to nahi hai and this is the most simplest thing you can do in life but if you have this attitude or a habit of poking more in small petty things in life i don't think you can be ever peaceful in life and happiness to bahut dur ka baat hai it will be difficult for absolutely impossible for people to be happy in life if even small small things bothers you of yourself and or other people especially other people don't allow small small things to disturb you and i made this promise long time back in my life i will not allow small things to disturb my happiness in life small small disturbances will not disturb me in life and if you cannot because everything cannot happen to your whims and fancies everything cannot happen to your expectations so the best thing in life is learn to ignore learn to overlook learn to turn a deaf ear a lot of things that happen around you jaan ke anjaan baniye sun ke ansuna kijiye aur dekh ke andekha kijiye जिंदगी में बहुत खुशी बनी रहेगी अदरवाइज ना खुशी तो बस आप लेके चलोगे जिंदगी भर मरने मरते दम तक एंड इफ यू डोंट वांट टू डाई विथ अनहैप्पीनेस और डाई टुवर्ड्स और और मूव टुवर्ड्स डेथ्स विथ अनहैप्पीनेस आई थिंक यू विल हैव टू स्टॉप पोकिंग योर नोज इनटू स्मॉल पेटी थिंग्स ऑफ अदर्स अराउंड यू व्हिच विल ऑलवेज बी देयर इफ एवरीबॉडी स्टार्ट्स एक्सपेक्टिंग द वर्ल्ड टू हैपन टू देयर विशेस वी विल हैव अ क्योटिक वर्ल्ड i think the way the world is is perfect in its own way and this is a perfect imperfection this is a perfect imperfection this whole world is a perfect imperfection imperfection and learn to enjoy the imperfections of life look at it and have some laugh if you want to just look at it and just smile at the whole thing and forget i think a lot can be done with your responses it's not so difficult in life So start with the simple thing about please don't poke your nose in small petty things around you in people jaan ke anjaan baniye dekh ke andekha kijiye aur sun ke ansuna kijiye i think this is one more checklist and i think i still have few, few more points to add into the checklist of happiness uh, i think another couple of things i want to sh- share with all of you i think i'll continue this so next sampurna will not be on monday from next month we are shifting the sampurna on wednesday so next sampurna session will be on 8th of february i'll conclude the session on checklist for your unhappiness and uh, you can maintain that manual for a lifetime and make sure that unhappiness doesn't seep in and if it comes you know how to dust it off from your life and don't forget on 5th of february that is on this coming sunday morning 7:30 am to 9:30 am going to be offline physical experiential sampurna session and i'm going to speak on something that we are missing big time missing in our life which i think is very very crucial important from the perspective of your health and fitness but i think somehow we are missing it something big time we are missing it and i found it out i found out what is it that big missing thing because after all the gyms and aerobic centers and yoga and everything people are still having major health issues and i have been hearing in last couple of weeks or maybe more than that almost every day this health issue that paralysis uh, that uh, brain stroke here and these are not health these are not fitness related issues we have lot of fitness programs but i think there is lot of vacuum or lot of gap lot of loophole in our fitness regime that we have been practicing right now and i want to know what it is so that you can make a better health and fitness for yourself make sure you along with your relatives along with your family members pull in as many people and understand what is actually means holistic fitness what actually should be done and i'm going to give you 
absolute details about how to be healthy and fit and what kind of program should be done at your level and what I can do from my side. So here is a promo video for all of you for just 25 seconds. And then I will say bye to all of you. Just be there with me, along with me. Stay connected. Here we go. So thank you for being connected with me on Sampurna's this session and um, come on this Sunday and understand the actual real health and fitness model for today's man. I'm talking about you and let's have a complete fitness and health model so that we live a very, very beautiful and complete life because the most difficult thing in life is to see a loved one suffering in health, to be see them sick, struggling in the hospitals and going and making rounds of hospitals is the worst thing you can do for yourself and others. Let's see what can be done from ourselves. I'll make sure from my side, I'll give a complete clarity on that picture of your health and fitness. Thank you for being connected. Love you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye.